the season eight balance patch is here and oh my goodness i looked at uh, some of it from uh, from the beginning and i cannot believe i'm saying this but it's happening we're going to power creep guys it's 12 56 a.m i'm going to sound a little bit out of it so just bear with me treat this like a podcast and let's go so they basically talked about that you know they're excited for season eight mog is coming out and one of the big things that they're doing is that if you swap heroes now you will not maintain sorry retain 25 percent alt charge you will retain 15 percent alt charge and they want to see if this is a good way to deal with the counter swap issue but i'm going to be real the counter swap problem has nothing to do with the alt charge yes it is a factor that is a problem that's there this change is nice but the problem is when one hero's neutral gameplay completely demolishes another hero's neutral gameplay just by existing for example if i pick bastion into winston that is a problem and over there it has more to do with how easy bastion is to execute against a winston than playing like a smarter genji against a winston or a smarter like you know playing support smarter against a winston in order to not die to him or something like that you guys know what i mean right like it's guys it's 1 a.m like just bear with me okay moving on right so let's look at the changes coming to the heroes and they first start off with tanks and they're like yeah roadhog's win rate is like 54 percent and they don't want to nerf him or anything like that just yet simply because they feel that maugus kit will be pretty good at handling him so they want to see how the two behemoths perform in season eight and then they will look at the mid-season balance patch to adjust anything now i'm not going to lie this is where i read it and i'm not going to lie it really is beginning to feel like the balance team is losing touch with what makes a hero strong or what why people do what they do they go on to say that there are times when doomfist players use the ultimate as an escape it's a little disappointing to activate mirror strike and intentionally land on hp pack rather than enemy players starting in season 8 doom will now regenerate 75 hp per second while in the air we're slightly increasing the cost of the ult in order to compensate for the buff now i'm going to keep it real with you guys this is basically a net nerf it's an excuse for them to nerf meteor strike even though meteor strike is one of the worst alts in the game and the reason doomfist players use it to go to a health pack or reposition back with their team is that more often than not your meteor strike is going to do nothing and they did nothing to help with the lack of damage or anything like that or just anything to just help doomfist feel better this is still a net nerf and doomfist has gotten nerfed twice in a row i don't know what game that they are playing but doomfist is not that crazy op as much as they think it is the fact that from what i've seen that there is no poke character that got nerfed here confirms one thing we are in power creep and we're watching it happen anyways tanks are supposed to take and create space and when ramatra is in his base form he can be a little too easy to ignore oh my goodness so i want to address this statement here because again this just shows how out of touch they are they try to use this wording to look and seem cool like hey we know the tanks are supposed to take and create space and then they show you how out of touch they are by he can be a little too easy to ignore yeah well that's his weakness right the omnic form is how you get around ramatra you realize that that's his weakened state it's the best time to take advantage of him so look what they did they're like so we're going to shift 100 of his hp to armor as well as slightly increase the size and damage of his projectiles to see if it helps so that's basically his you know when he's in his omnic form and the left clicks like you know that were actually a skill shot and you were rewarded for it and not everybody could use it and it was a good healthy ability yeah they just decided to make it a little bit easier so the average joe that plays overwatch one hour a day or, or one hour a week can play on watch a little bit better rather than learning the character and actually getting better at the game but whatever i digress i've been talking about this topic for way too long about skill to value ratio but Check this out. Winston isn't the best matchup for other tanks. This is a part of his kit, but the disadvantage feels too extreme. We want to alleviate it a little bit, and in season eight, the Winston's Tesla cannon will now ignore armor damage reduction. Guys, Winston is probably the most balanced character that Overwatch has ever seen, and we have officially reached the point in this game where they're buffing Winston. Not reworking, not distributing his power, flat out buffing him. This is nuts. Dive might actually become meta now because there's somebody else in here that gets buffed. So, moving on to DPS, they start with Sombra, and you know, her win rate is still here and there. 
and her ultimate is not that satisfying. So the EMP lockout time is three seconds, and the amount of damage it will do is not 30% to the HP bar, it's 25% to the max HP bar. So I like this change. It's going to feel terrible getting EMP'd, but the ultimate will finally feel like it can actually do something. So I'm okay with this, but I'm not going to lie. This is still kind of scary. Like, looking at the fact that basically Dive in this patch got, got buffed is a little bit scary. I love Dive, but Power Creep is not the answer to this game. Anyways, moving on, Soldier 36 enjoyed a lot of success. He's a well runner DPS, and the self sustain from his healing can make him really difficult to deal with. Who struggles against Soldier 76? Who the hell says Soldier's healing is a problem in this game? Not Ilya Harry Pylon, not Baptiste, Soldier's heal station. I'm trying so hard not to laugh out loud. This is crazy. Anyways, moving on, they're like, rather than reducing the effectiveness of the healing, we're going to increase the cooldown from 15 to 18 seconds. Guys, they're just going to turn all the heroes that that may be a little bit too strong, they will just make them clunky. Everybody's gonna become clunky. Oh my god, 18 second cooldowns for everyone. Anyways, anybody remember how much damage Tracer's Pulse Pistols do? I wouldn't blame you if you don't, we change them a lot. If you guess 5.5, you'll be right, but not for long because we're changing them back to 6. Previous change to 5v5 was made to offset a bug with their fall off and spread. Now that those bugs are fixed, we're moving them back to their previous value. Whatever. So the support changes. This has to be the most disconnected take I've ever re uh, read. This whole support part. Brigida was the best performing support hero since the last patch. Okay, in a poke meta, they think Brig is the best performing hero. And we are seeing your feedback machine. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> oh my god, people are still complaining about Baptiste and how Baptiste is the must pick, how Baptiste can do high damage. All the reasons. And they're like, yeah, yeah we hear you. Brig is going out of control. Don't worry, we're going to revert the damage on Whipshot. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Oh, I thought this, this company, I thought this balance team was actually doing things right. And then they were like, yo, let's just get high and like <laughs> mess this game up. We're also looking at the damage potential of Baptiste, and we'll be lowering his ammo from 45 to 36. <laughs> Rather than address the problem, they will just make him clunkier. <laughs> I cannot believe it. We may even reach a point in this game where Immortality Field will be 50 seconds on cooldown, but they will never fundamentally change the character. <laughs> also, also, I don't know where the hell did they think Brig was the best performing support hero. Brig. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, uh, as far as I remember from the last time I checked, and I know overbuff data is not the most consistent, um, the reason that she has a high win rate or whatever data that these idiots use is simply because she gets picked less, and where she does get picked, she, she dominates. She's a niche character. That's why she performs really well. They don't even understand that. They cannot. I'm not going to lie, the Brigida nerf is not actually going to change what makes Brigida really strong. Yeah, the AT damage with a whip shot is a little bit silly, I'm not going to lie. Um, but she's still going to be really strong, given the fact that Dive might become meta. Somewhat. It's still a wait and see scenario, depending on how the game will feel. Um, Brig is going to be really strong regardless. Brig is fine. If you like Brig, you have nothing to worry about. I would like to touch on one of the items mentioned in the last director's take. Specifically, the leave rate in quick play. So basically, they just talk about the fact, like, yeah, you know, us like putting the lever penalty in quick play makes people leave less. And yeah, we might, you know, change up the policy a little bit. We might make the, you know, punishments a bit harsher, a bit not. We don't know. We will see. Anyways, see you in the game, guys. I'm not going to lie. This has to be an April Fool's patch or something because it it's something, man. I I can't breathe. I sound like an idiot right now at 1.05 a.m. What do you guys think about the patch? I'm going to break it down uh, in tomorrow or day after tomorrow's video because I'm going to take a small break to recover from being sick. And I just slid this in today. So again, another day of double uploads. But holy crap. They net nerfed Doomfist. 
the ultra buffed some hold on overwatch cavalry the mvps right so they we have this here they net nerfed doomfist they basically buffed ramatra okay winston got a buff somber got a buff soldier got weirdly nerfed but it's okay tracer got a buff i think question mark because they said something about fixing a bug and maybe she will just feel the same anyway so question mark brigida got nerfed but it's it's not like like she's still strong like wherever you play brig where you want to play brig with a dive comp to anti-dive whatever 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 she's still going to be a pretty good pick and then baptiste they didn't address any of his problems they understood that he's doing a lot of damage and they're like it's okay he can shoot less <laughs> it just <sighs> you know at least they're our idiots and i love them <laughs> they make they make me lose my mind at 1am that's it that's going to be it for this video if you guys want to support the channel for free and help me have a good night rest hit the subscribe button and like the video if you want to support me financially then you can do so by using super chat <laughs> they nerfed doomfist again <laughs> i cannot believe it see you guys in the next one good night